Our next topic is bubble sort. This algorithm works by repeatedly evaluating adjacent items and swapping their position if they are in the wrong order. In the following demo, we are going to implement the bubble sort algorithm. As with the other algorithms, we are going to analyze the time complexity of the bubble sort and visualize how it works. Then, we are going to compare the bubble sort, the insertion sort and the selection sort algorithm in terms of efficiency. Alright, let's switch to our Xcode Playground project. The bubble sort function takes an array of integers as input and returns the sorted copy of the input array. The function repeatedly iterates through the array and compares every adjacent pair. If the numbers are not in the right order, their position gets swapped. The process continues in passes until the entire sequence is sorted. The lower values bubble to the beginning of the array. The isSwapped variable is used to track whether any swaps were made during a pass. If no swap occurred during a pass, it means that the values are in order and we exit the outer do while loop. Let's see the bubble sort in action. We start with the unsorted array 1, 4, 2, 3, 0. In the first pass, the first two elements are checked. Since 1 is smaller than 4, their order is kept. The next pair is 4 and 2. Because 4 is bigger than 2, their positions get swapped. Then we compare 4 and 3. They are not in order, so they are swapped. The last pair in this pass is 4 and 0. Since 0 is smaller than 4, their position is exchanged. We continue with the second pass. The first three elements are already in order. Therefore, the algorithm does not swap them. The first pair which requires swapping is found at index 2 and 3. The last pair is already in order, so we keep them at their current position. The third pass bubbles the value 0 until it almost reaches the beginning of the list. However, the array is not yet sorted, so we need another pass. The fourth pass only exchanges the very first pair of numbers. Now 0 is finally at the beginning of the sequence. The rest of the array is already sorted, but the algorithm is not aware of this. So, the algorithm executes another pass. The fifth and final pass does not find any pairs that need to be swapped. Now that we understand the inner workings of the bubble sort algorithm, let's analyze its time complexity. If the input is already sorted, the bubble sort needs only one pass, which executes n-1 compares. All the elements stay in place, so the number of swaps will be zero. This means that the running time of the bubble sort only depends on the input size when the sequence is already sorted. In other words, the best time complexity of the bubble sort is linear. The worst case is when the array is reverse sorted. If there are n items in the sequence, the algorithm will run n passes in total. During each pass, our function executes n-1 comparisons. This means n times n-1 compares. For a reverse order sequence, the number of swaps will be n-1 in the first pass, n-2 in the second pass, and so on, until the last exchange is made in the penultimate pass. The total number of swaps is n-1 times n over 2. The worst case running time of our bubble sort implementation is the sum of the swaps and compares. This is clearly an order of n squared time complexity. The average time complexity of the bubble sort is also quadratic. To summarize, the bubble sort has a linear running time for already sorted arrays and runs in order of n squared average and worst time complexity. These running times might look similar to the time complexities of the insertion sort algorithm. However, the bubble sort needs considerably more swaps than the insertion sort. The higher number of swaps will result in slower performance. Therefore, the insertion sort performs considerably better than the bubble sort. Due to its poor performance, the bubble sort is almost never used in real software. However, because it's easy to grasp and implement, the bubble sort algorithm is often used in introductory computer science materials. Now, let's execute some performance measurements. We compare the bubble sort with the insertion sort and the selection sort algorithm. For 10 items, there is no noticeable difference between the three algorithms. The bubble sort algorithm starts to show its weakness when sorting 100 random numbers. 
its performance gets worse as the input size increases.